Now, gentlemen, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Again, I want to caution you to keep this fight clean at all times. Protect yourself at all times. And what I say, you must have a good luck. Touch him up. As we get underway here, four heavyweight fights in Las Vegas, culminating with the heavyweight championship of the world. Two young prospects, 21 years old, 9-0, and all nine wins by knockout. Again, it's a showcase, but Vladimir Tereshkin is 22-0-1. He's six foot six, hasn't fought in two years. But they try to put a big man in front of Anderson and see what he has. Lennox Lewis, your former heavyweight champion. What do you make of Anderson so far in his career? Well, you know, 100% knockout rate. That's very good. And, you know, I've watched him fight. He's very fast. He throws some good combination. And um, he's got good movement. Two-time national amateur heavyweight champion in 2017 and 2018. Uh, Andre, that is a fast right hand from Anderson so far. Yes, it is. And he's a guy who's not afraid of facing bigger guys. In fact, he's fought bigger guys his whole career. I mean, he fought, you know, he sparred with Tyson Fury for this camp and the previous camp. And he's just a fighter who has mastered fighting bigger guys. And Tereshkin is undefeated. He's fought limited opposition. But it's a good test here for Anderson on his way up. And he's already shown off a pretty good lead right hand. See Kenny Bayless taking a good look up at Tereshkin, who's 6'6". Six, six. But Anderson already able to find his range. Again, number one heavyweight in the United States. Opted to turn pro in 2019. Uh, rather than go to the Tokyo Olympic Games, signed with top rank, top prospect, and that is a beautiful jab. Right hand follows as well. I like how Anderson steps in with that right hand. He means business when he steps in with it. You know, not, not only nine knockouts and nine fights, Lennox, he has won every fight. He has won every round. He hasn't lost a round, according to the judges. Probably not the best fight that Tereshkin going to come back on after being off for two years. Yeah, right. Come back two years. Oh, who are you going to fight? Like, oh, sure. I mean, you know what you're getting into. It's a business, Andre. You know, you get, you get paid. Uh, you're, you were A-side your whole career. Never had to deal with that. Uh, Tereshkin coming in here. He knows he's in deep. But again, we, we've seen surprises all surprises already here in Las Vegas. We yeah, were just on, <laughs> we were just on ESPN and FS1, and we saw two fights we didn't quite expect. Yeah, he knows the water deep. He just don't know how deep. Right. right he right, doesn't quite right, know right, what he's right, getting right. into until he gets in there and starts getting hit. Right. He's saying, "I thought I could wade in this yeah. pool." No, no, you cannot. It's levels to this game, yeah. but it's still early. I'm, and, try, I'm, and, try, I'm trying to figure out if Tereskin's a, a southpaw or orthodox. He's switching back and forth. He's a lefty who switches. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's pretty dangerous against a good right-handed puncher. Yeah. Yeah, he goes back. You're right, orthodox right there. Lennox after going southpaw most of the way. You see the punches landed. Wide discrepancy already. 20 to 7 for Jared Anderson. Body attack there by Jared Anderson. Digs in again with a right hand to the body. And that's got to hurt Tereshkin. Not in the best of condition. An unlimited weight class. He can weigh what he likes. Takes a good hard body shot there from young Jared Anderson. Swinging wildly, trying to make his presence known, but all Anderson in round number one. Look, there's always going to be a dispute, Lennox. Oh. You know, in the politrix of boxing, as you called it. However, you can say that's the heavyweight champion of the world right now. That's it. Absolutely. By the way, Deontay Wilder, we're told, is uh, just about leaving the hotel or at the hotel now. He's got plenty of time, but Fury is already here. And Lennox, you said you used to like to get to the arena late. You didn't want to get here early, right? Well, yeah, because, uh, you know, sitting around in the arena while everybody's boxing just, just made me made me you know, feel bad. I, I wanted to feel good. I just want, I like the rush of it. Getting ready in the rush, getting into the fight, into the rush. Andre, how about you? You were early or late? for me. I tried to wait to the very last minute. I didn't want to be in that locker room. You know, just, just pacing around, sitting around. What's the, whatever time they told me to be there, I was there 30 minutes later. 30 minutes later. Later. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Fury's been early all week, by the way. He's early for the presser. He's early for the weigh-in. He's just, like, made it his business to be early. Second round here, scheduled for eight. Again, that's Jared Anderson in the green camouflage trunks. Calls himself the real big baby. Vladimir Tereshkin in the red. A good hard body shot again. Eats a hook on the other way. Andre's got to be careful, right? Yeah, but, you know, sometimes you got to put yourself in the line of fire to get the shots you want. And you got to remind a guy who's wearing a tire around his waist that, hey, you didn't do your sit-ups, <laughs> right. and you didn't do what you were supposed to do, and this is why you're getting hit down here. But Anderson has been boxing real well this first, this first round and a half. He's setting Tereshkin up for either a left hand 
with a right hand finish or a right hand with a left hand finish. Yeah, this is a situation where, you know, Anderson can do work anything he wants to do. You know, he can work on the jab, can work on the body, can work on his right hand. This is a learn this is a good fight for him to do these different things. Practice his combinations. Finishes off with the hook there along those lines, Andre. Jared Anderson in his last fight finished his opponent with a right to the body in the second round. Knocked down Jeremiah Carpunzi with body shots. And the challenge for Anderson right now is just being patient and not going to sleep like we talked about in the Berlanga fight mentally and just chopping that big redwood tree down because Tereshkin is a big body. He seems to be tough and he's not going easy. Digging his right hand to the body that lands. Tereshkin eats a right hand. They're laying on the right. Now he's hurt or he's trying to move. I'm not sure if he's faking it or not. Looks like he was wobbled. Maybe he is wobbled. Maybe he is hurt. The mouthpiece also almost comes out. Body shot. He's hurt. And Kenny Bale is taking a good long look. Does not like what he sees. Yeah, that was a, a weird move made by Tereshkin. And possibly he is badly hurt. Tereshkin should hold. It. Bayless says that's it. He did not like the way Vladimir Tereshkin was reacting to those shots. There was something odd about that, wasn't there? Yeah, there was. And, uh, you know, there was no complaint by Tereshkin. He was glad it was over because I don't think he could have made the whole fight anyway because of the way he looked. Take a look again. And I, I saw some weird reactions there. It was a hard right hand. Tereshkin then at that point maybe got raked with the elbow as well. He, that's wobbling. And I thought maybe he's trying to shake loose, but no, he was he was hurt and concussed. Yeah, double right hand to the chin and make you make you do some funny things. And Anderson, here we see right here, he threw the jab, didn't land it, but it blinded his mm. opponent, landed a good shot right there. And before he could even recover, took a half a step back, landed another shot right there wow. on the chin. And that's why you saw the legs go like that. And I love it because Anderson recognized that good shot right there. A lot of, little bit of space, another shot right there. And you saw Anderson start to close in and start to try to finish the fight, and he did get the finish. Jared Anderson singing his own tune. He's earned it. Let's go to the ring and get the official call from Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of 2 minutes 51 seconds in round number 2. A referee in charge, Kenny Bayless, calls a halt to the contest. He is the winner by way of technical knockout. He is still undefeated. And now the NABF heavyweight champion, Jared Big Baby Anderson. 6'4", 245. Again, as Max Kellerman pointed out, that is no longer large as a heavyweight, but highly skilled by Knox. Yeah, 